Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have another uh, Fog of War puzzle by Megan033. Uh, this is, it's not the latest in the series. This is the, his um, a one and only one line series that they've got, he's got going. Uh, this is the, the one before the latest. So this one is a couple of weeks old, but I just haven't had a chance to get to it, but we're going to get to it now. And then hopefully I can do the next one in line in a couple of days. That one is... Uh, would be the next one and that is the latest and greatest as far as i'm aware of at this point i'm sure there there will be more but uh that's kind of the history there anyway so uh, with that said let's take a look at this one and see if we can get it figured out because these are always fun ones you guys always seem to enjoy them so uh, love to get a ton of these things out for y'all so anyway what do we have in terms of rules we have normal sudoku rules apply like usual so every row every column and every three by three box contains a digits one through nine each now there is one and only one purple zipper line along with along which each pair of digits that are the same distance from the lines central cell indicated by a filled purple circle must sum to the digit in that central cell so what does that, what does that mean well it means that this is that filled purple circle so this is the value that everything on this line is going to work towards now whatever this value is we don't know what it is Every uh, cell equidistant on this line from this central cell go adding together to be able to create this value. So let's say this is a seven. These two digits or these two cells here together because they're equidistant to that circle must therefore add up to seven. And that will continue on the line. We don't know where it goes here, but let's say it does that. Those two would do the same thing. These two would do the same thing. I'm just making random guesses as to where this might go, et cetera, et cetera. Then we've got some further clues here, or rule sets, I should say. We've got uh, Kropke dots. So a black dot between cells indicates cell values with a two to one ratio. I'm sure these, this, this black dot here. So whatever this one is, this is uh, either half or double of it, two X or X over two, however you prefer to look at it. Then a white dot between cells indicates cells with consecutive values and not all dots are given. So there's no negative constraint. So these two guys here, these two guys here, these two guys here, look at whichever one you want. They must be consecutive. So they must have a difference of one central one if i can get it in screens that are off here on the side of me then we've got uh, adjacent cells connected with an x must sum to 10 so we've got a couple of those showing so these equal 10 these equal 10 however you add them together whatever the digits are they must add up to 10. then we've got cells filled with cells with a filled square it must be even we do have one in here that we can see <clears throat> so this digit just has to be an even digit and if there's more of them <clears throat> out and about we will find them later and then of course we have the grid is partially covered with fog so correctly placed digits will clear the fog around the cell no guessing is required and as usual my example if we miraculously figured out what this digit was here all of these uh, set all these cells would have their fog cleared then hopefully we'd find more information more rules or clues uh, that would therefore help us to continue our solve. And that's it. So uh, let's get this set up so we can see everything that's really necessary. And uh, let's get started on this thing. Uh, like, um, as usual, the link will be in the description below, of course. So you can all <clears throat> solve alongside me if you so wish to do so. Now, the question's going to be, uh, where are we going to start? And of course, the Place we're going to have to start us up here because it's the only thing we can see so we're going to have to figure out it's going to usually usually with these puzzles it's some combination of these uh, sets of rules that are going to be able to give us our break in now where do we want to start to kind of get into this thing so we know we have two sets of tens. So we know everything else, therefore, must add up to 25. But there's quite a few digits here. So getting up to 25 is very easy to do so. So that's not the greatest place to look, I don't believe. Uh, we have our black crop key and we have our purple zipper line. But then the value of this zipper line guess we could start to make determinations of what it could be because obviously it can't be one it couldn't be two or even three because if it was three you would have to have like a one two uh 
uh, this would have to be a two over here and then wherever this continues to be another one then you'd have to put a one or a two here so that just doesn't ever work same would go for four now the problem is once we get to that point i don't know that we can take it much further can we ever yeah it seems like well maybe not because we know all of these digits must be separate digits so that's one, two, three, four, five different digits within this region. And so therefore we can't have anything, <clears throat> obviously, <clears throat> geez, excuse me, anything less than or equal to or less than that in this space because then you, there's no way you can add all of those digits up to it. This is probably going to be quite a high digit now that I think about it because we're going to have to have so we could have one set of pair, two sets, and then one more set. So we have to at least have three different ways to make a value in here. Because so if this was a, let's say this was a five, we can do, you know, wherever this goes, we don't know. It doesn't really matter at this point, but to be able to use the rest of these in some way, this could be like a one, four pair. This could be a two, three pair, but then what the heck do we put here? We can't ever put another one, two, three, four, and we can't put a five to be with a zero or anything like that. So thinking with this thing has to at least have three ways of making it, which makes it into the six, seven, eight, or nine category. Now, now that doesn't seem very useful, but it probably is slightly because we know that this is essentially a high digit now where we might get into highs and lows here. And we know that this, these digits have to be consecutive in some way. Now, this, so we know this has to be from, in just looking at the white crop, this has to be from five, six, seven, eight, or nine, but it can't be a five because you can't put a five on an X. So we end up getting another high digit, which means this is a low digit. In fact, we're going to know both of these are low digits because this has to be low because it has to add up with a six, seven, eight, or nine to equal 10. So it has to be from one, two, three, or four. And again, the same kind of constraint we had here where this couldn't be a five, this can't be a five because you can't put a five on a black prop key. So we end up with another low digit. So essentially what we're finding out is, and we can look at it in a different way as well to say, well, just straight off the bat, where can we put a five? We, we would have known none of these could possibly be five. We wouldn't have known this couldn't be a five until we looked at the, how the, all this stuff worked. Um, hold on one second. I have to pause this real quick and I'll come back in just a millisecond. Apologies about that. I had to take a phone call and I might have to take one again in another second or in a few minutes, but hopefully, uh, we'll be done with this thing by then. Anyway, that would have been like a fraction of a second for all y'all. It was a few minutes for me, but anyway, back to the puzzle. Um, what I was saying was we, we could have looked at this and said, where does a five go? No, it couldn't go in there, but we wouldn't have been able to rule this out until we did our little deduction over here. Um, so therefore we know there has to be a five on here. So this is either, and this can't be a five. So this is our five, which means this is, cause that this has to be an even. I wanna make sure I did, yes, this, the swear is even. So this is either a four or a six now here. Okay, so this group, on this black croppy, let's look at what it can possibly be. Because it's going to be from one to six, four or eight at the moment. And I'm, gonna, I'm typing in all of these things right now just because it's, I'm gonna just do it. I find that half the time when I start doing these and trying to work out all the possibilities, it really does help me just to mark the heck out of it. Uh, it, it might look clunky and all that kind of stuff, but it kind of, it works. So I'm going to keep with it. Now, the thing we can look at here is if this was a high digit, let's say this was an, a six or an eight, we're clearly having to reduce what these can be. Now, I guess we can say this can't be an eight. Is that true? Yes, it is. If this is an eight, this has to be a nine because we're on the line, we have to add something to it to be able to get to uh, that nine. So eight plus one somewhere, we don't know where the one is, it could be anywhere in this fairy tale that I'm crafting here. Uh, 
But if this is a nine, this also has to be an eight, so that breaks the puzzle. So this not it does not go up to eight. So I'm wondering if there's more we can do to reduce these. Again, if we were to continue to look at maybe the high digits, could this ever be a six? I guess the answer is quite clearly yes, it could be. Because if this is a six, that forces this to be seven, eight, or nine, but we don't know where the, the end here is. And I guess what we could, we could look at this line a little more closely as well, because this line, we know that there's one and only one line. That's the point of this entire series. So we know, well, we don't really know much, I guess, because this side is what's really kind of will drive us at the, once we get through this first initial uh, jump in here, is that we know that this plus something is going to equal what this is. This plus something else out here is going to equal what this is. This plus something is going to, this plus something out here, this plus something out here, this plus something out here. So, We're going to know, well, I guess, oh, something we, we could think about here as well. It's going to help reduce this digit, I believe. We know that one of these is a high digit. We also know that one of these two is going to be a high digit. Because on a 10 clue, we always have a low and we always have a high. So if we're having two different highs here, that means this can never be a, doesn't mean this can't be a 6. Yeah, because one of these, and it, it could be one of these two, or it could be one of these two. I'm just going to use this as the example. If this, let's say this was a 6-7 pair, well, if, even if this is the, the 6 over here, and this is the 7 as the low digit, this, of course, can never get back down to 6. So I think we can rule out this as being a 6 in that instance, because no matter where we put the other high digit on this guy, it's going to create bare minimum a six here in one of these kind of things. And then if the six isn't on the, well, actually we can say the six just isn't on here anymore now that I think about it, because this would have to be a, uh, if we put a six here, we have a four, six pair, so that would break this. So therefore there is no six on this line, which means it has to at least be a seven. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. I was going to just do one of them as an example, like seven, eights, or nine. So we know, therefore, that again, we've just removed this from being a six or a seven. So therefore, we're up to at least an eight or a nine. Is that correct? Yeah, because we'd, we'd have to at least put a seven into one of these two. And if we have to at least put a seven, can we say anything else about that? Well, I guess we can say where there is no nine on here. So the nine has to be here. That, that would have been a quicker way to even look at it, actually. So we know there has to be a nine on this guy. Once we think about this can't ever have a nine on it, because if it did, we'd have to have a nine plus something else out here in the ether to create something like this. So this has to have a nine on it. So therefore it has to be a nine, eight pair. So let's get rid of the six and the sevens. We get ourselves a nine, eight pair. This cannot be a three or a four. Uh, this can't be a four anymore because of this. So we're looking at an eight, nine pair, which means, and we said this has to at least be a seven. Now we know it can't get into the eight, nine. So this just is three seven pair to equal up to ten which means there is no three here there is no six here We've got a one two pair which forces this now to be a four and there we go that's our break in and then this has to be six and we have a way to go two one nine eight and we have started the ball so now we know we our value is eight we know that this is a five this has to be three this is a two, this has to be six. This is a four, this has to be four. And then we're gonna get into where can these guys work with. 
And let's see. You can also say there's no nines in any of these because if we put a nine here, it force an eight as well. So there ends up being a nine and well, not this one because that's an even digit. So one of these two has to as well be a nine. Now, can okay, let's look at this guy more closely because we have one, two, three, four, and six all looking at it. So this is either five or seven, because obviously it can't be eight. Now, if this is five or seven, that forces this to either be a one or a three. And we can't quite determine which one that is. This one here has to go with a three or a seven. So it has to be a one or a five. And then things will move away from that, uh, this line, so then this one will be the next one in line, whatever that may end up being. So what else do we have here? Okay, we, we can tell where the seven goes if we look in this region here. So we know it's one of these three, but if we put a seven here, we have to pair it with a six or an eight, and we can't do either. You can look at both of these, or you can look at these two, however you like to do it. So this just is the seven. And if that's the seven, this is a one. There we go. Now we know what these guys are. They are four, five, and eight, which means this just has to be a one. If this is a one, this has to be seven, this has to be three, and we are moving and grooving, which is good. Hopefully we keep that progress going because we can get caught sometimes in a, in a nasty little trap once we get started sometimes and not be able to finish what we started. Uh, what about this guy? Again, I've got another little bit of a mic issue, so I'm going to have to talk a little bit more again. I apologize for all these things. Uh, I'll get this thing fixed eventually, I swear. Uh, so I'm looking here and saying what are the possibilities of this uh, set here. So it obviously can't be nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two. So it has, or five or three. So it has to be a one, two pair, which gives us our eight. And therefore we know that this is a five, nine pair. Now, if we know that's five, nine pair, we can look down here and get a two, six pair. And then we know that, well, I know that my microphone is just kicked out. So again, my disgust and I'll send you back to myself. Sorry about that guys. Again. My mic is not being happy with me, and I think it's the OBS, actually. So I'm going to, you, you'll probably hear an over, an, a little bit of a voice over there for a second. I thought I had fixed this thing because I'd messed with uh, how this was working, but apparently not. So anyway, enough of that. Back to it. I'm not going to cry over spilled milk here. So this has to be from 3, 7, or 9. And what can we now look at? Do we get anything with this guy? I don't think we really do. It's either four or eight. And we look on our line. I guess these two digits have to be. Wait. This one is the next one that goes with this, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it is. So this has to be a five. So that's not five. Now we can continue. So these two go together in some fashion. And are we going to be able to say much about that at the moment, or do we have to look elsewhere? Okay, we can figure out what this digit is by using our white crop keys. Uh, because it can't be a 2, because it would have to be 3, 4, 5. We already have a 5. 6 can't go down, so it can't go 6, 5, obviously. So it has to go to 2, 7, 8, and 9. So this has to be that six, this has to be the two. And now this can't be seven or nine, so it is three. Let's get rid of those. We get a deep, deep, deep in the corner over there. And uh, this can't be an eight. Let's put that in, might as well do it. This five corresponds with what? Nothing, it's these two are the next ones. That's going to be the hard one. I might put, put markers in. Let me put a yellow marker just to kind of, so I don't have to keep counting, see where I am. I can remember that these two are the next step. And then I can use that, continue to use that marker to kind of visually see what's going on. Now, this guy, 
and this guy. Is there any combination of digits we can do here? So this one can be from two, three, or four. And it could actually be six as well. Now, if it is any of those digits, does that break anything over here? Yeah, this can't be three because it has to be paired with a five. If it's a four, it can pair with a four. If it's a six, it can pair with a two. And if it's a two, it can pair with a six. So this is a two, six, or four as well. And do we want to continue on this line? Mm, I guess we can do the same concept here as well to see if it gives us something before we maybe start looking at some of these other crop keys or this other crop key that we've got. It's the only other thing that's kind of on the board at the moment. So again, two, three. Uh, well, we can't use the three again. It's just in the same position where it sees that. And then four and six. So this is from two, four, six as well, which means this has to be from two, four, and six. And again, that still doesn't do much. This one's going to be the exact same thing, actually. So we actually end up with a triple, it seems. Oh, no, that's not true because there is the possibility of this being. No, there isn't a possibility of being one. Because if this is a one, this has to be a seven, and it cannot be a seven. So this is, again, a two, four, six triple. Means this is a two four six triple. That's a two four six triple. This is an eight, and that proves the fact. Which means this is nine and five. Cool. Now this one can't be two, so therefore this one can't be six. And what else? What else? What else? What else? I guess we know what these two digits have to be. They have to be from one and three. One can't go there, so we get the one. And the three, we get a little bit of clear, so it proves that we're correct, I guess. Uh, this has to be from uh, a nine, just straight up. And now let's see if we can use, if we want to use this combination here, or if we want to maybe start taking a peek at this white crop key. Uh, if this is two, this has to be three. If it's four, it could be three or five. And if it's six, it has to be five. So it's either three or five at least. That is a reduction, but it's not a, a it doesn't quite get us there. So we'll look elsewhere. Let's start looking at what this guy can be, maybe, and then we'll correlate it back to here. He cannot be one or two. Can he be three? He can. Can't be four. Can it be five? No, it cannot because this would interact here. Can't be six. And could it be seven? It could be seven. So this is either three or seven, which means this is either one or five. Okay, I was hoping that would take us to the next step, but it doesn't seem to be doing so. And so what else do we have? I wonder if there's anything even remotely starting to peer its head out in terms of Sudoku, because we do have quite a few digits. Never hurts to look, you know, you know, could give you something of so somewhat importance. Um, the next step, of course, will be to look at these two pairs, but we're going to give this a quick, quick look, just to make sure there's nothing here. I don't think there will be just yet, but like I said, it doesn't hurt to look. One of these is okay. This actually does help if you look at the eights. I guess that would make sense if we if we realize that how this was working. But none of these can be eights by basic Sudoku, and this can't be an eight because it's on the eight line. So therefore, this is an eight, and that's going to open this up a bit more. And does that continue in any fashion that we can use? Don't think so. The nines might be of the same type of use, though. Yeah, because the nines can't go in any of these, so this is a nine. And that's not going to help up here. It's not going to help up here because we can't see any lines that go into here yet. Okay, well, that was still useful, so that's good. Now maybe we start to look at what these <clears throat> combinations can be. Question is, where do we start? I guess here is probably a good place. Again, it can't be one, it can't be two, it can't be four. Uh, can it be three? It cannot because this five would interact with it. 
Can it be five? It seems like it could, which would force this to be a three. This can't be six. And it can't be seven either, because if this is a seven, this has to be a one. So this is just a five, which means this is a three. That breaks this open. Good. It's nice to get the little confirmation as you go through that you're doing things correctly. Now, uh, do we want to, do we want to, do we want to look at this now? I guess we should. There's going to be kind of a reduction of what these can be. So let's look at this. Again, it can't be a one. It could be two, three, four, or six. So let's see how that corresponds down here. Cannot be a three because of this five. Cannot be a six because of this two. So it's either a two or a four, which means this is either a four or a six. Then we get a four, six pair, which is nice. That gives us this eight. Get rid of that stuff now. This has to be either seven or nine to complete row. Okay, I'm trying to keep my eye on my microphone because it's really, really annoying me. Uh, we do have the two, four pair here as well. So we know what these two digits are going to be at the end of the day. They will be three and six, and we have a three. So there we go, six and three. That's helpful because now it's going to give us a black crop key. Now, the black crop key at this point, I don't think is super useful, but it might become useful if we start looking at these two pairs. So maybe this is where we want to look. I guess so we can start here. Or we can actually just start here and then we'll correlate back because this is going to have probably more reductions to start off with, but we'll, we'll give it a try. It's either one, two, can't be three for a couple of reasons. Could be four and can't be five because of this three and it couldn't be five from a black property standpoint. It can't be six and it can't be seven, eight or nine. And I have to pause one more time, I apologize. All right, I'm back. I must be a popular boy today, but let's just jump right back in this. Uh, so where was I? This one could be one, two or four is what I was saying at the moment. And it cannot be five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So that would be correct. So therefore, these would have to go with one, two, and four. It would have to be seven, six, or four. Can we rule any of those out? I don't see that being the case, but then we can look here. And we could have done the same thing with our eights we did previously, where none of these could ever be eight. So this one is eight, and it's going to pop this open a little bit. Let's see if we can finalize our eights now or get close to finalizing them, I should say. Uh, we can't quite, because we have two, we have an X-wing of eights left over. And this could very well be eight until we uh, see what the rest of this line does. Okay. Now, let's see if there's anything else in some of these rows and columns that are going to be uh, determined here. don't see anything, so we might have to continue again to look at this uh, next set of digits. So again, we can't have a 1, we can't have a 2 because of the 6 here, we can't have a 3, we could have a 4 to go with a 4 here. We cannot have a 5 because it would have to have a 3 here, that doesn't work. Same goes this way, this can't be... Actually, let's, let's get rid of that for a second, I don't want to cross... And, not, and miss a possibility up here. We'll come back to that in a second. This can't be five because this can't be three. Uh, this can't be six just because there's a six there. And it could be a seven. So this one would be a one or a four as a possibility. Again, that's, uh, let's see. Yeah, so now the nine, we could have done this, we could have looked at this in nine. This is just an easy little thing here. This is nine and seven which is going to make this a 9. And then we have a 4, 6, 7 triple here, which is interesting. So that's going to force these to have a 5 on them, which means this is 4 and 5. These have to be from 
one, two, and five. So let's put those in because we can. All right. Now, let's see. I guess we can continue in our little escapade here of figuring out what digits can go where on these lines. So what can this be? Can't be one. Could it be a two? It can. Can't be a three. It can't be a four, because this would be a four. Can't be a five. It could be a six. And we might end up getting a triple here in the same way here. But no, maybe not, because this could also be a seven. Therefore, this guy could be a 2-6 pair, or it could be a 1 to go with this 7. What about a 5 now in this row? Adding these things in, it seems like it's, it's taking time to do it, but it's actually helping out because we're getting locations now where we start ruling out certain digits. So where's the 5 go? It must go here. If that's a 5, that removes this from being a 5. That does open this up, and we cannot uh, determine with which one of these are necessarily an eight because we don't have a line going through it. Is there anything further with fives we could do? Not quite. I mean, we we have a something, but not quite enough. Is there anything else on this line that we can say is a okay? So on this in this row, we know a seven has to go in one of these two. Therefore, this can't be a seven. So that's gonna probably start to break all this up. And we're gonna have to remember which one's uh, corresponds. So this has to be a three. It has to be a three. It's the third one along. So this has to be a five. This can't be a five. That three is gonna tell us this is a five which means this can't be a two. This can't be a two. This one can't be a six. So that's a two, four pair. So this is six, which means this is not six. If that is a six, it forces this one to be a two. That forces this to be a seven, which is, seems to be correct. What's this little nub doing out over here? That's kind of interesting. Uh, if this is a seven, that is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight along one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this guy. So this is a one. Oh, okay. I guess I don't know why I thought that erroneously that this was a loop of some sort, but it, it never had to be. It was just in the back of my head for some reason, but it is what it is. So now we get a two and a one. And this can no longer be a one. We have a two, four pair, so this is that one. That one has to go with the seven. So we get that. Now we've got this four, six pair that goes with this two, four pair. Um, okay, thank you, FEMA, for letting me know there's disaster relief in my area. Uh, <laughs> my phone is just going crazy today, and I apologize once again. Uh, so these guys are set with each other. What about this guy? It is working with him as well. So I think we're going to have to jump. Either we're going to have to continue this or we're going to do another quick look at our Sudoku and see if there's anything it decides it wants to do. We can, yes. I think the ones are going to give us something. Because if this is a one right here, that's going to make this a seven. So if this is a one, this has to be a seven, right? No, that's not right. This one would be a seven. Either way, it doesn't work. This can't be a one because this can't be a seven. So this is our one, and that'll clear this up. If this is a one, this is the seven. That one's going to give us our two and our one. And now we are really going to be into probably finishing up Sudoku and then maybe using these last couple little guys to, to sort anything out. So, let's see what we can get here real quick. This is a three. We know what these two digits are now, so let's look at those first. There should be an easier way to go about it. We have to have a two and a six. We have a six there, so this is two, this is six. 
This is here, so it has to go with this. That's a six. That gives us four, six, six, four. The yellow is a six, so this has to be a two to equal eight. That four has to go with the four up here, so that gives us two and four. And this is a given digit of what? Two. This four means this is either an eight or a two, and it can't be a two, so that's an eight. So let's get rid of those, and we should just be able to finish this stuff off now in hopefully quick fashion without any more interruptions, without any more microphone problems. <laughs> so we need a seven, so it's got to go here because of that guy. This has to be a four. These two have to be from four and nine. So this is nine and four by Sudoku. These two have to add up to eight and they must be from five and three and they are. And we got a three, so five and three. And then these are our last three. So this guy has to be a seven. This guy has to be a nine and this guy has to be an eight. And there we go. You solved the puzzle solution is correct. So that was a great one. Uh, that one worked out really well um, in terms of flow. Once we got through the first section to kind of get our in, everything really worked together. It was just kind of uh, remembering or designating essentially where these guys uh, collaborated with each other to actually get our, um, our numbers. So that was about a, not bad, not bad for a fog of war, about a half hour. I'll take it every day. Uh, another great puzzle by Megan033. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.